Well, hello everybody and welcome to Wildwood Trust here in Kent. I'd just like to give you a quick update on what's been happening in the collection here, especially with our wonderful group of red squirrels. As some of you probably know, we've spent um, quite a bit of money this year and produced a fantastic new enclosure for our red squirrels that live here. Um, and we've taken in best practice for um, what is uh, regarded as good enclosures that red squirrels really enjoy. So as you can see behind me, we have a five meter high uh, enclosure attached to another enclosure here, which is a good um, 10 meters long, not, not as high, but a good size enclosure for squirrels to live in. And so we've been able to help out other uh, squirrel collections this year because uh, in our right hand side enclosure that we have here we have a little group of juveniles that were born this year uh, from a breeder in Norfolk. Uh, he ran out of space, he's had a very successful year so we said yes we'd um, hold on to his group um, of squirrels and they're going to be going off shortly uh, to other homes around the country, possibly going over to uh, Wales to be form part of a reintroduction project that's going on in uh, Clochinog Forest in North East Wales. But as well as that for a group of four, in our uh, large enclosure at the back here we have our resident group of squirrels. Uh, we've got two females known as Chive and Nutmeg and then uh, they're joined by a couple of youngsters that we bred ourselves here at the park and they actually haven't got names yet but uh, obviously they'll be going on um, to other places as well. As you probably know we have over 20 years experience of breeding and looking after red squirrels and it's really important for us here in Kent to make sure that we're keeping um, alive the notion that red squirrels could once again be part of the landscape of Britain. As I'm sure you realise uh, they are actually practically extinct from England due to uh, the presence of uh, the non uh, native invasive species grey squirrels. Now these chaps are, are very clever, the grey squirrels, they are able to um, compete with the reds for food very very efficiently and uh, they do breed a lot more regularly than our resident reds and also they do actually have a nasty disease called a squirrel pox virus which they're able to um, live with and are immune to but unfortunately our dear red squirrels aren't immune to it and it can be fatal to them. And so with the spread of the grey squirrels that started late in the 1800s we've seen really the population in England be decimated. Although there are sort of bands still being um, uh, protected particularly on islands, so the Isle of Wight, the Isle of Anglesey, because you can keep out the greys, they're allowed to thrive there. But also in the northern counties, the spread has slowed down. And we've really got to take our hats off to the many red squirrel charities and their bands of volunteers, because they are really what we call the unsung heroes. They're out there patrolling the areas, keeping an eye out for grey squirrels, making sure the sightings of reds are healthy and just raising the profile and the conservation status of, of reds in total. It's our Red Squirrel Awareness Week. We're banding together to form a national breeding group to make sure that we get a good healthy population, captive population of squirrels that one day may be able to go out and help uh, repopulate uh, red squirrels in the wild. And we're banding together with the squirrel charities the organisations, the volunteers, and uh, just showing that uh, not to forget the red squirrel, uh, it's still uh, very much part of our landscape. We'd love to thank all our regular members, uh, particularly those who have uh, been willing to uh, put adoptions in for our red squirrels, and also we'd like to thank uh, our um, sponsors, uh, Travis Perkins of Dover, who were very kind and donated a huge amount of materials and wood for our new enclosure. And uh, we hope that you'll stay with us and uh, continue to support our work as we look forward to a very exciting year in 2024 and beyond with red squirrels uh, making a comeback. Thank you.